What is up guys? Welcome to a brand new Road to Master video. We're one on one in our promos for Plat 1. We are almost in Diamond. And you know what? Whenever we're going in uh, to our promos, we're going to play uh, Signature Champs. And Ezreal is obviously one of them. But Arcade Ezreal, here we go. I bought the skin. You guys have been asking me if I'm going to play it for a while. And yes. I guess the answer is yes, I am going to play it. I'm going to play the Arcade Ezreal skin. I'm going to check that I actually selected this. Um, but yes, I did. See, this one is probably one of my favorites, if I'm honest. The um, Explorer Ezreal one. Like, I love the Explorer Ezreal uh, skin. But I do love the Arcade Ezreal skin. It's, it's pretty cool. The one thing with it, like, with his ultimate, though, when he waves his sword, like, above his head and stuff, it's really hard to actually tell he's ulting. It's really strange. Okay, so, um, part of the reason, though, I did actually pick Ezreal is because Heimerdinger is really hard to play against as an AD carrier. And also uh, Echo as well. So Echo is like uh, dive on you and you kind of need to dodge his stun. Also, I do need to dodge his Q as well if you can do. But um, Heimerdinger is really hard to play against if you don't have some kind of range. Like if you get close to him, he's going to put his turret down and wreck you. So if you can stay at range with Ezreal, for example, firing mystic shots out, it's really, really good. And it's very easy actually to kind of play around him. But diving into him is where the problem kind of starts, I guess. Cogmore is going to be a little bit tough, I think. Because he'll outrange me the entire time. But actually, like, I don't mind playing Ezreal into Cogmore. A lot of people consider this a really bad matchup. Not my really bad matchup. But um I don't I don't mind too much. Like, it is rough, but at the same time, like that oh three man pre made, fantastic. And is that the no, it's not the bot lane at least. But the jungler, so I'm gonna get camp bot lane, that's nice. Um <laughs> my favorite. But yeah, um, like, you don't have to ever get close to Cogmore. Yes, if he activates his W and you dive onto him, like, in a team fight, he's going to do more damage. But if he doesn't... If you just kite, I guess, is the point. If you just kite around, then you can easily actually beat him. And I think that's probably what we're going to go for. But we might have to go for more of a damage-heavy style build today, like a Triforce build. I don't know. Blue build would also be really good because I can kite literally everybody. That's going to be a... An echo. I don't know if it's gonna be AP or not, but like I can kite Fiora. I could kite the uh, who was mid lane. Can't remember who was mid lane. My memory's terrible today. Who was mid lane? I can't even remember. Heimerdinger. Heimerdinger. There we go. I can kite him around as well, I guess. And we do have a lot of damage with Katarina Nocturne and Irelia, but we'll have to see. We'll have to see what I want to go for. Um, how fed I get in the lane phase as well. If, if we actually do well, it'll be fine. If we get behind, then probably go blue build just because it's cheaper. Anyway, welcome to everybody else. We're into the game. We're playing this lovely arcade skin. So this recall, I think, is really, really cool, honestly. And, uh, yeah, I just wanted to show that because I think it's, it's, it's pretty cool. But we're playing the skin. I just bought the skin. I've wanted to play it for a while. Any excuse players real, you know me, but uh, definitely if he's got a new skin, I'm going to play him. So uh, the other part of it, I guess, is I'm a promo to play one at the moment. And I, as I said before, like, you know, I was talking about I really want to play my main champs because I'm getting kind of tired of playing in <laughs> Plat, honestly. Like, it's such a hellhole. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, um, oh my God, I'm going to get absolutely camped. Here comes the camp. Um, yeah, like, uh, <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Um, yeah, so I, I think like Ezreal's actually pretty good into this kind of comp. Like they have a lot of uh, range stuff like Heimerdinger, the Echo, Fiora, nobody I don't really want to get next to. Cogmore as well is getting a lot more popular and Ezreal's okay because Cogmore gets kind of free-ish lane, I guess, kind of, unless Bard does a lot of work, but at the same time, Cogmore can never really get in range of you. So if he walks forward to try and hit you, then you uh, use your Q a lot and stuff. So, yeah. Um, okay, so this chat is getting extremely weird. I'm just going to focus on the thing. But, uh, yeah. So this game, hopefully, we might go for a Triforce. I'm not too sure. I'm kind of thinking I want to do it a bit more because it is really good, especially with your passive change. Oops, that came a bit earlier. Oh, these particle effects are so good, man. I almost stole that. Um, I kind of want to go for Trival Spill. It'll be really good for like a carry style of build to match the Cogmore a little bit because Blue Build is good, it's cheap, and it'll hit the power point before Cogmore, which is which is a good thing. But at the same time, like it's not going to do anywhere near. Oh, that sound! It's not going to do anywhere near as much as uh, the Triforce. And I feel like if Cogmore is going to do loads of damage late game, I need to kind of match it in a way. But at the same time, like, I don't think I'm really going to get much peel from this team, right? Nocturne, Katarina, Irelia, Bard, like, who exactly is going to peel for me in this team? So, 
Bluebeard would be good to kite with, I guess, more than anything else. So I'm only going to hit him once because he's got his W active. One one trade where he was semi-stunned is fine. After that, not a good idea. I actually want to go here, so... Just get loads of damage. I actually don't mind who I hit here. Because if I hit the Leona, like, one thing that's underestimated, actually, is how much poking Leona hurts. We've burnt through two of her potions already. If she's low and she doesn't have any potions left, she actually can't engage. And she becomes completely useless. She doesn't have anything to offer if she's back. So, when you're playing against Leona, if you can poke her down and keep her low, like, she actually can't do anything to you and she'll become pretty much useless. Um, this is one of the ways... Oh, damn, I didn't mean to do that. One of the ways you actually beat a Leona lane. Oh, that's really good. I'm going to go for this. Did not mean to do that. But yeah, so we'll see. I could flash in here and try and get uh, the Cogmore. I don't know. I don't know if that's worth it, though, if I'm honest. Oh, if Leone wasn't there, I actually think I would have killed the guy there. That would have been really cool. I'm going to try and sneak it in. So once one of these minions dies, basically, I'm going to try and, like... I don't know what she was thinking there. But alright, I'll take that. Nice. So Cogmore is most likely going to base right now. This means we're going to push this really hard and make him miss hopefully two waves actually. If we push this quick enough, we could probably miss both waves here. Uh, make him miss two even. So ideally Bard would have helped me push this a little bit. Uh, I guess not. Um, but that's okay. That's alright. There we go. I can go back and get my tier. This is a pretty decent base, I guess. Not bad, actually, um, getting the tier. What I might do is I might try and get... Um, do I want... I could save for boots here, or I could save... Or I could just get a pot and save, like, for something else afterwards, to, like, early base again. I'm kind of feeling like I'm not going to base, and if I can kite the Leona with boots, then it'll probably be better. Plus, I don't really need... Um, yeah, I don't really need it, I guess, so I can... I think I can do that. That's pretty good. But yeah, so um, right now, I'm kind of thinking I might go man immune like, with my build and stuff. This is this is when you actually play a champion a lot. You kind of learn the strengths and what you what building what item will do for you. This is kind of why I recommend maining a champion because you know this kind of stuff just from playing a lot. So if I rush a man immune, even if I go Triforce afterwards or Iceborne, it will mean that I get my mirror mana really quick. And that would be great because then I can kind of like abuse Kog'Maw while he's still powering up. Once you get Mirror Mana, you hit a massive spike, right? And in theory, Cogmore's not going to be that strong at that point. So I'll have a massive gap between the two of us where I'm going to be, like, ten times stronger, right? And that will give my team a lot of, like, breathing room because if we fight, um, yeah, if we fight, then I'm going to be able to output more than the, the Cogmore. So that's actually, that would be pretty good for my team. If I wanted to go more greedy, I'd probably get a Sheen first either way. That will give me more lane pressure and more kill potential. Going Triforce, though, is so expensive. Uh, okay, what I'm going to do is just... Eat, oh, whoa, I didn't eat here? Really? Okay, I'm going to heal this, but... Um, yeah, I thought I used my E there. I didn't, and I took the stun to the face. That's really bad. This matchup's actually very easy. Ezreal into Leona, I just, even though I made it look hard. It's actually very easy, because as soon as she dies onto you like that, you use your E. You take the first E, like mini stun, I guess, but then you should be able to dash away. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know. That's just me being bad, I guess. Which sucks. Because that cost me my heal for pretty much nothing there. This is the one problem though with uh, just... Oh, I'm going to miss this. Oh no, I'm not. Wow, nice. With uh, Ezreal in general, is even if you kill early, you don't actually get much power out of it. A tier... You'll often see whenever I... If I feed an Ezreal early, I'm like, it doesn't matter. Because it genuinely doesn't. Like, I he come back with just a door in the steel. But I... Uh, yeah, I have... Okay, that was nice, thank you. Um, that, that was like... Yeah, I just come back with a, a tier. Like, I get mana regen. I get to spam my abilities. Over time, it led up. But actually, like, otherwise, it's really not that much at all. That was nice of them to give me that, though, which is cool. So, yeah. Uh, like, tier doesn't really make a difference. But I guess when you get ganked for like that, it's also... doesn't even matter if you're a strong or not. This is a one benefit, like, if people actually recognize you, sometimes they're going to camp for you, but you also get camped at the same time, so... I <laughs> guess it works both ways. Him standing on this side is actually very stupid, I think, if I'm honest. Like, um, standing next to the wall there would easily set up a bard stun. Don't know if he really wants to do that. 
but who knows. Okay, so I've got 1200 gold. Don't really have anything to buy at this point. Like, I can't actually do anything really if I base. Um, I've got good mana, but I don't really need to base. Don't have cooldowns though, so... Uh, like, uh, sorry, yeah, coins on my like um, summoners and stuff. So if we full on fight, I think he's gonna have his heal back up now because he's got um, he used it like at the very first fight, and I used it afterwards as we got back. So his is gonna be up way before mine. It's probably up right now, if I'm honest. Them focusing bard is actually not a bad thing for me. Oh, okay. What is bad if uh? I'm gonna try and block everything for this guy, but Nocturne's here, so he's gonna have to ult back in, I think. Yeah, that's what I expect him to do there. But that's fine for me, like, I don't mind that happening. Oh, no, that's a lot of damage. Holy crap, okay. I did not expect Cogmore to do that much with just a Doran's Blade. But, um, yeah, we're gonna get both these, so that's fine. Not that that was anything to do with me. I should have backed off after that. So I'm just going to get my a man immune here, and I'm going to go with my outscale the Cogmore into mid game. Uh, like, it sounds really weird, because I'm not actually going to outscale, outscale, like, into late game. But I am going to outscale, um... I am going to outscale him in, in mid with this. So I will get my mirror mana transformed really fast. That's the aim, at least. I'll get really, uh, transformed really fast now, and then I'll be able to, like, fight constantly with it. If I go Fist now, or into... Uh, Triforce doesn't really matter if I'm honest. So we'll see how this lane goes, I guess. Oh, this feels so wrong, man. Like, go Ezreal without Sheen is much Sheen for the price of it, right? For like the 1050 gold or whatever it is, Sheen is so so good. Like, it's amazing. And not buying it is just a crime. Like, not buying Sheen on a, uh, on Ezreal at least early ish is just a crime. It's so bad, but like, it. It makes sense to do it this way to get my mana immune like as soon as possible and stack it up and stuff But it just feels so wrong even if like um Yeah, even if I'm not gonna get the, the fist first you normally want to get like a sheen so you can fight people But yeah, I don't know. It just feels so wrong. I love this skin by the way like this these particles are so cool So cool anyway for now. What I'm gonna do his farm. I've got a decent chunky lead on him like 20, 15, 20 CS. So what I'm going to do actually here is get in this and then ult him. <laughs> so they fall for it all the time. Just because you're out of vision, they don't expect it. This is why I don't... People will ult like immediately after, right? And I'll just ult... Oh, that's not good though. They'll ult and then... um. Like, as soon as the fight happens, like, to try and nail him while he's still here. When it's in vision, it's quite easy to dodge. Like, the wind-up's quite easy to see. So, I like, personally, waiting. It's a bit further away, for sure. But, like, yeah. Further away. Um, but you duck in here, and then you go for it afterwards. It's great. It does a lot of damage if it doesn't hit minions first. There wasn't a wave there, either. So, it's good. Uh, that was actually a bad thing, I think. I don't think that bottle was a good thing. We're gonna get first tower blood though, I think, right? Yeah. That's really good. I'm so rich right now. Holy crap. Is this actually a good Ezreal game? A good Ezreal game, boys? What's happening? What is happening? Right, we're gonna go for Sheen here, and we're probably gonna go for the Triforce, if I'm honest. Um, haven't placed the pink yet, because we've already got one. It's for this bush here, so that we could gank, but honestly, I don't need to do it, because it's already one in there. Now, I might place it a bit further up, though, if we're gonna keep pushing, but I don't really have that much to do, if I'm honest. Cogmore's freezing, so... Yeah, so we can get mid. Um, yeah, so... If Cog's freezing, we're just going to push mid instead, I guess. And see what we can do there. Oops, I didn't actually think that was going to kill it. Once I show mid, Cog should start pushing, really. And so even just me... Even me just showing here is enough to hopefully get something done, I guess. But we'll see. So, yeah, Cog has already started pushing. You see on the minimap how he's started pushing this really hard now? Because now I've actually shown, he's like, okay. Um, we can, I'm going to put this here. Might not be a good idea, but we'll see. Oh, this is really getting bad now. Um, that Keeping up on the farm and stuff, which is good, but, like, 
The fact that he's really getting boned. I want a magical journey. Here we go. Uh, this guy knows he's dead, so he's just going to sit here and try and go in. But with that stun, he should be dead. I think he's going to sit for the farm. Yeah. See, now the good thing is I'm getting really fed, right? The bad thing is I'm getting fed against the Cogmore. So I actually don't really care. Like, it's not going to be that good for me. Uh, he is still going to scale and he's still going to do loads of damage. So, like, I, it feels good, but it doesn't feel as good as it should because I'm dicking on a Cogmore. And dicking on a Cogmore doesn't really do very much for me, uh, which is not cool. So, yeah. I, I Like, it's nice and everything, but, yeah, like, I, I don't know. I'm not going to get too excited just yet. I would normally have used my ult on this, but the ult cooldown was increased rank 1, so I don't want to do that. I'm going to push this in, though, and then I'm going to base, probably, for, like, my phage. Um, so I'm just going to snipe that. There we go. I'm watching Nocturnes. If there's someone there, then I can help him. I get. I'm going to try and help him, just so that he knows I'm around. Echo's not here. I know that, because I can see him on the map, but, like, Heimer could be coming and all of that, so... Oh, wow, he's going to give it to me. Okay, that's nice of him. Nice. Okay, this is this is going well so far, I guess. Who the hell rushes ZZ? Well? <gasps> the Heimer Digger! He's doing the build! He's doing the build! Oh my god, I made a video about this on my main channel. Uh, ZZ Rock Banner of Command Heimer Digger, where you just set up turrets and you are literally, like, impossible to push against or, like... Yeah, it, imagine if Heimer was up right now with his turrets as well as his CZ Rot. It's impossible to really do anything. But I think, yeah. Well, why am I tanking this, though? That's the question. Okay, I didn't actually need to heal that. I just pussied out. Majorly pussied out. I love Ezreal with blue buff, though. It's so good. So strong. Let's try and get, um... Yeah, so he's going to put his like towers down now and it should be quite hard actually to do anything probably should have used my w on the other guy there because this one can't even attack the turret i'm still punishing just because i know cogmore's around this is going to push into my bottom tower and i don't think we can really do too much now so i'm going to go bot and get this i'm actually gonna, just going to buy the trifles outright i think i was going to base but i don't think there's much point because we were going to go mid and try and get something after the heck, uh, the Heimerdinger kill. So every time I'm getting something, you'll notice I'm trying to do something afterwards. Because I'm at that level now where I can't really take it easy. Especially against the Cogmore, you can't like sit back and do stuff. So every time I get something, I'm just asking myself, alright, what can I do now? Can I can I kill someone? Can I like take a tower? Who the hell is that? That would be a Fiora. Why would Fiora even bother with that? Like seriously, I don't get it. Does she not realize how fed I am, or does she just know she knows how fed I am? She's just going to try and kill me anyway, or what? Ha! <laughs> she even fucked up the red post. <laughs> okay. Nice. Oh, okay. That's why she was here. Their entire team is coming to find me. Oh, I'm dead. I'm just going to ult here to try and get something, but I'm screwed. Okay. Well. Fair enough. I <laughs> just screwed herself there, actually. The slow from the dragon is probably going to stop. Nah, she just ward jumps again and it should be okay. Ward jump and Q. Should get it with Ludens. Yeah, there we go. Nice. So they got me, but we got everyone else. So I kinda, I'm going to kind of call worth on that, I think. Uh, if they get mid, I can get my CDR boots as well. That would be really good for me. Get my blue trinket, though. I'm probably going to get a Mercurial this game. Nice. Yeah, I'm probably going to get Mercure this game because, like, the Leona's really screwing me up. Uh, even though... Oh, freaking ZZ Rot, man. Even though, like, um, she's 0 and 6, she's still useful. Why am I saying Erm all the time? I'm trying to concentrate on the game, right? Like, I'm trying to... On this account more, I'm trying to play and then... Um, yeah, I'm trying to play more and then talk a little bit less, I guess. 
but I'm kind of like slowing down when I talk and I'm, I need to work on it basically. It's hard talking and playing properly and seriously at the same time. And before I was just like talking all the time. My gameplay was kind of suffering for it. Now my gameplay is getting better, but I'm, my talking is getting worse. So I have to find a middle ground. Really. I have to find like a middle ground between the two. That's ideally what I want to do. Anyway, this game is really just going to come down to pushing and ending now. Uh, like, even I really is getting back into the game, which is really good here. Blue buff is up in 50 seconds, so, so I might stick around and try and nab that again. Heimer is probably going to prep for it early this time because, like, we stole it last time. Normally, at a higher rank, if, um... If, like, you steal their buff once, they're going to expect it next time and they're going to try and, like, make sure that they, that doesn't happen again, I guess. Oh my god, I do so much damage. This is Triforce, by the way. So, Triforce... I don't know if it says it on here. Uh, yeah, so... Well, basically, it's 154 bonus damage, right, Sheen? But it's actually 200% of your base AD. Whereas, if you get a uh, Iceborne Gauntlet, it's only 100... And f is it 100 or 150? I think it might be 150, but I'm not sure. It might just be 100, actually. Um, and, like, a bonus damage. So, it's actually a massive, massive increase for a Sheen. This is why Triforce is way more damage more than anything else. Is because of the Sheen damage being so much higher. Yeah, I'll take you, mate. I'll go. <laughs> Let's go. These easy rot things, by the way, are really irritating to play against Ezreal. Because they block your Mystic shots. So when you're trying to fight someone and there's these easy portal around, it's really annoying. See how fast I'm attacking now, by the way? It's because I have my passive at five stacks. And this is what the buff on the PB was doing. This is why Bork and stuff, I think, is so much more effective on him now. See, that would have just done 250 damage to Cogmore, but instead... Whoa, okay. Oh my god, it blocked the Bardo. Holy fuck, my bad. I did not think she was, like... Slippery enough to get me there, but I'm dumb. Nice. At least my team's got my back there. That was really stupid. I like. I, I was just being cocky, and I was like, my team was collapsing, so I thought I could just take it anyway. But I'm not strong enough to take that fight. Uh, versus a few, I didn't really. I kind of underestimate how much strong she was actually. Right, we've always got Mirror Man to transform though. 20 minutes in, that's pretty decent. This game, like once I transform this and get my book, the game is basically done. So I think. Typical Irelia player, right? Two and four, and now she's six and four because Fiora's tilted a little bit and Noxon helped her out. That's good, though. That's good, though. Everyone's like... Because now everyone is strong, we've had much more chance of getting back into the game. The problem normally is, like, if you... So when Irelia was losing, right? Noxon focused on mid and bot lane because he was playing around his stronger lanes, which is normally what you want to do. You don't actually want to, like, go to the really weak lane. If you do that, you're probably just going to die. <laughs> like, nine times out of ten, they'll turn around and 1v2 you, and it will suck, so... Yeah. I've actually not used my ult very much here. I could have I could have healed that. I'm a scumbag. I'm an actual scumbag. Whoa, really though? That was pretty boosted. I mean I'm pretty boosted as well, but Oh, these freaking ZZ rots, man. Blocking like everything. Okay, so I already told her she has her TP, which means she's probably looking to TP once she's up, I guess. I really want to get that ZZ right. It's so annoying to play against that, but we can't really do anything with it right now. Uh, I'm just going to take the crab, I guess. I actually don't have really anything to do at the moment. I could go mid and they're fighting at the moment. You can see the... I can see the circles there, so I know they're fighting, but... I don't really think I can get there in time to do anything, so I'm just going to leave that for now. Okay, I probably should have gone, actually. I didn't think the entire team would be there. That was my bad. I can get some damage on this tower, I guess. Who's there? Okay, everyone's still here, though, I think. Alright, I can actually... Yeah, okay, Hammer's here already, there. His turrets just like wreck that whole idea. I have my Mirror Man now. What I'm going to do, I'm actually going to sit here and try and one-shot someone. If they push out like this, I'm just going to kill him. He does do a lot of damage though. He's got his like two. These After these two items complete, you actually do a ton as a... 
as Cogmore, so I have to be a bit careful. I don't think he's actually going to come here and fight me. Nope, he's not. Okay, I'm just going to, like, go and get these. I didn't want to show straight away because then if I try and do that again, he's going to, like, know I was in the bush. I'll probably check it. If I want to, like, make this a surprise and actually kill him, I have to make sure he doesn't see me. Oh, my God. No, thank you. Peace. I'm done. Why are there four people right there? And why did I flash? Why am I so boosted? Oh my god. Ugh. I expected like one maybe, but I didn't expect all of them. And the Iceborne kind of threw me as well. The slow really screwed me up. We're gonna do Baron, I guess. All right, I'm down with that. I'm the bait, I'm the bait, boys. I'm the bait. I've gone from like doing carrying this game to just getting carried. This is ridiculous. Ugh. I think they actually know though. On, I don't know. If they know, I don't know why Cogman would have gone, but... No, they don't know. They just suspect. I'm down with that. But I don't I didn't even get it, so that sucks. I didn't, I didn't even get a buff. I'm on my way, though, so... Uh... I can, like, try and come and help if they, if they go. I'm just going to ult. Okay, that was really done by him there. I don't know what he was thinking. That was pretty, pretty dumb. I really want to do this. Like, I'm so down to do this. <laughs> it's pretty dumb, I think, but like. Yeah, I would have gone. If she'd have gone, I would have gone with her. I don't know if that would have been a good thing or not, but like, I would definitely would have gone. Okay, I have my Bork now, so I'm going to go back and get that. Uh, this might be warded, but I'm going to recall in here anyway because I'm an idiot. And yeah, we should be good. We have to be a bit careful. Oh my god, Cogmore got Banshees. That's really strange. Let's get uh, this and then we're good to go. So we should be really, really strong now. This is like a three, real three power point at this point. Like the three item spike. I actually like this by Bard though. He's gone to ZZ Rot. So ZZ Rot versus ZZ Rot is really, really good to play against. Um, like it's how you counter it really. I guess I don't get my rebuff. I, I already got one, I guess. It's how you play against it, like, really easily, because wherever he puts his easy rot, you put yours down, and then, yeah, it kind of counters it like that. I think there's a blue trinket here. Maybe not, because I got it. <laughs> that freaking bard, old man. Feels bad, man. I'm going to take out this. And there's a TP coming in as well. I can't really get into this, though. I'm dead. Oh no. I'm just gonna heal her. I don't have any kite because I've got this build, so. Jeez, holy frick. Alright, well, we got killed, but. Yeah, I can get through the TP there, so that was actually really unfortunate. This is where I need my frozen mallet, though. If, if I can get my frozen mallet now, I can kind of like start to kite a bit more, but. Yeah, I, like, Triforce, okay, so, blue build is, like, very solo carry, right? Um, yeah, he actually did. That bottle, like, prevented that pick, basically, but, yeah, kind of sucked. Um, so, the, the Triforce is, like, a carry build, but it's, like, you need to be the team. You have a front line, they take the damage, you don't need to kite, you just need to DPS. So, that's my ideal, that's how I thought this game was going to go, that's why I went Triforce. Blue build is more, like, kitey solo carry kind of thing, I guess. Um, so, so, like, blue build there would have been better because I could have uh, kited around and stuff. They wouldn't have been able to kill me. But in an actual team fight, it should be fine. Um, yeah, it, it should be fine, like, still having this. Okay, how do you get to almost pat level and still be caught recalling? That's done. 
Alright, we need to try and do something though because uh, we're just kind of throwing the game and they have, a, they have a pretty good late game. Plus this Fiora is absolutely ridiculously strong. Like, I'm super strong and she dove me under tower and killed me. So, yeah. I don't really want to like... Uh, yeah. I don't really want to fight this guy at all anymore. It's going to be really hard to dive them because of Cogmore. Like, Cogmore's going to sit at the back. Fiora's going to dive onto me. I can kill Fiora, I think, but, like, I'm... Well, with my team, for sure, but... It's more that by the time that happens, I'm guessing the... You know, I'm guessing uh, Cog would have killed everybody by that point. I'm just going to try and poke people, because I do a lot of damage with my poke and I have a blue build, so... And I'm standing next to the wall, by the way, so that if anyone goes on me, I can jump over this wall and I'm fine. Um, I'm going to try and get his... Uh, whoa, 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 what the fuck? Holy shit, I guess I need a QSS then. Jeez, I... This doesn't feel right anymore, like... <sighs> so when Leona used to use her E, I could immediately E and it would be fine. But I can't do it, like, I, I'm i pretty sure I'm not just being too slow. Like, I just can't do it, and I don't know why. Um, Yeah, I just don't know why I can't do it anymore. It doesn't make any sense. <sighs> Fuck me. But yeah, so we're actually throwing this game. Like, I, I don't know why it's just not working anymore. Like, I'm just going to stay right back. Because I can be that cocky because if, even if she, like, goes on me, I shouldn't ever die. Like, I should never, ever die to Leona. It should never happen. But, yeah, I, I don't know. It's just not working. I'm going to watch it back over this thing. But I know that when she got changed, like, reworked and stuff, her E stun duration was increased. I don't know if that means that it's, like, increased to a point where I can't use my E now before she gets in there. That might be true. I don't know. But, yeah, we actually lose this game, which is going to be pretty sad. Uh, Cogmore is taking over, and he's going to get way, way stronger as well. So, if I die like that every fight. But I can play safer, so hopefully it's not too late. This is the only thing. It might be too late. It might just be like, you know, we've messed up now. So, like, that's it. But I uh, hopefully not. Hopefully not. All right, this is prep for Baron. Baron's in 30 seconds. We might be able to rush it. I don't know. We can probably catch someone though, like when they come to, uh, yeah, when they come over here, they should, we should be able to like get them. I'm just sitting in the back. He, Nocturne is in range of ult, so. Oh man, that's bad though. Uh, I mean, as long as we don't die, we'll be okay. I'm just going to keep poking for now. Nocturne's ult isn't on too long corner. It's already like a third away back. So, that should be okay. The blue is exhaust, which is nice. And, uh, yeah. Don't, 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 don't. Hello, hello, hello. No, 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 that's bad. Nocturne's not actually here. So, this is why I don't want to do this. This is the annoying thing, but why would you even do that though? That's the dumbest thing. He's trying to prop his banshees with my his W there. Uh, holy fuck, that's so dumb. Really stupid. Alright, um... That guy's like screwing me a little bit at the moment, unfortunately. He's just diving on me and taking me out of the fight, which is fine, but like... Cogmore's just ruining it, and we don't have... Like, Nocturne needs to jump on him, but we had no Nocturne there, so... Yeah, it was a stupid time to fight. These guys are pre-made as well. I don't know how they're messing up this hard. Like, how they're going in like that. But yeah, I think this game is probably done though at this point. Unless we sort our team fight out massively, but yeah, I don't know. Like, I really should be able. I really are a Nocturne, like the anti Cogmore champions, but 
They're not actually doing anything at the moment, so I don't think it's going to work like that, really. That would have been a good time to bard ult this guy. Why would you not bard ult him? Okay. Let's see if we can do anything. If I get Frozen Magic, it'll be better. If I get Last Whisper, that would probably help as well. So I'm probably going to stop the Frozen Magic and just get the Last Whisper for damage. Right now. Um, please don't stop me recalling. Okay. Thanks for that, you dick. I don't feel like they, they they can't really jump into us, I don't think. Like, every time we're losing a fight, it's because we throw. It's not because they're actually that much stronger than us. So I don't think they can really just run at us and, like, do it. Like, Nocturne should be able to kill the, the Cogmore. And so should the cat and stuff. So, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't feel like this game is completely done so yet. But we'll have to see. It might be. I'm not sure. I need to use this pink as well. I haven't had a chance to use a pink the entire time. Like, ideally what I thought we'd do is set up. We'd get a pick with the bardo and then we'd go from there. But, like, yeah, I don't know. I don't really know. Cogmore has massively outscaled me now. Like, we're... I'm, like, three items. He's, like, three items. So, yeah. We've, like, massively been outscaled in this game. I'm gonna go this way. I'm not gonna take a risk here. I still... I don't think they can really take this from us. Really? We're gonna... Okay. That's pretty done. Holy bollocks. What the hell is this? Okay. Fiora... I think Fiora just won the game, honestly. She's so fed. I don't get it. I don't get it. Holy shit. See, this is what we need to do every single fight, right? This is how we win. There we go. See, I told you. See, there we go. There we go. If we actually fight like that every time, it'd be great. But they just pile onto me. There's nothing I can actually do. So, yeah. I can't deal with the Fiora. Like, she's way too strong for me. Like, she just blows me up instantly. Oh, we actually might get this, though. We can get this, I think. It's up, in, like, in 10 seconds. Fiora's gonna be here, but... I feel like we could maybe do this. How many pings do you guys want? How many pings do you guys want? Someone else tank this, please. It does so much damage. I have a Bork, and we have an Irelia, so we might actually be able to do this. Problem is, Echo spawned slightly before them, so I think he might actually try. They might come here. They're probably going to rush here, yeah. I think it might be just in time, though. Oh, my God. Lucky the Echo didn't go for that. Alright, so we got this. Um, now we might be alright. I don't know. We'll see. By the way, I got the blue Last Whisper because... Uh, the blue Last Whisper. Because, um, the Fiora is, like, massively healing every time. It's just, like, screwing everything over, so... Oh, yeah. Fiora just stole the blue. Nice. I would have kind of liked that, but never mind. Right, so I can get Frozen Mallet or I can get a QSS it. QSS doesn't cleanse the Fiora stuff anymore, so... Okay, this might be... That might be game now, I don't know. We could just push and, like, end. But we have bot lane uh, stuff to deal with, I guess. So maybe not. But we're wasting our Elder Dragon. The, th the reason we took it, though, is so that they can't get it more than anything else. 
If they took it, it would have been really hard for us to do anything. And if we're stuck in our base, we can't really, right? So, um, at least they can't they can't get it. But at the same time, we've just like done nothing with it, which is unfortunate. Oh man, we should have really gone on that. I think. You want to engage with Elder? Why don't we just engage? Fiora's not even here. Cog just recalled, like, I don't know why we didn't fight that, but I'm not going to go in and do something stupid, so. Uh, I'm just going to place my pink here. Got nothing else to really do on, and um, this is going to be really hard, because, like, Cogmore's full build now, so. Yeah, I don't know. Um, what's gonna help me with the Fiora? That's that's the question. Like, is anything actually gonna save me from the Fiora? Probably like uh, Sterix might if she tries to one shot me, I guess. But like, I don't really think that's worth it. So, Mercurial might save me a little bit here. I'm gonna buy Mercurial. Frozen Mallet would have been nice, but like, I I can't cut her anyway. She's so slippery and she just dives on me. So, GA would have been one thing, I guess. Whoa, what are you doing, kid? Um, bot lane inhib is not, like, coming up soon either. If they go on me, I don't think that's that bad, is it? Why are you even there to start with, mate? Pretty sure Cogmore's over here, so I'm gonna go for him and try and kill him. I think my red buff might get him, I'm not sure. Nope. I tried to go for the Cogmore there. That's the only way we're going to win the fight is I get him out of it. But now he's just life stealing back up, so that sucks. But all of them are just life steal back up as well. It's not even just him. And he has a GA as well. Oh, that's stunning. Are you fucking kidding me? Really? Oh, bar, don't use a stun against a Fiora. Holy shit. Oh my god. He used to defend the inhib more than anything else. Oh, and now he's going to lose both. Nice. That's something at least. Even if we lose turret, it's not that big of a deal. It's just more that we don't lose our inhib and a turret or anything like that. Knocked on my ult for her, but I don't know if that's even worth. I mean, it might be actually. <gasps> not if fucking I'm a... Okay, well, support for that is probably not worth, but okay. Alright, let's get this. I'm up again at least now, which is nice. This is going to be such a hard game. Like, I don't even know if we can win this game, but we, we can definitely try, I guess. How many ZZ do they have on their team, too? What a horrible little strat. They're going to go for Baron, I think. Yeah, because yeah, Nocturne is dead as well. We're gonna go for top tower here. We really need to find these Zerots, but we can't really. Like, trying to go for the Zerots is probably gonna get us killed. Oh, they might go for double in here, actually. I'm trying to get the Banshee off of Cogmore. If I can get the Banshee off of Cogmore, then my team can actually go in. If I can't, then it's gonna be really hard for them to do it. I'm literally aiming all my stuff at Cog right now to try and get the Banshees off. Oh wow, I actually got them on. 
aim my ult at him, might be able to kill him, but yeah, this game is just under, I think. I can't stop these guys, so... They have a massively scaling comp, and yeah, we just dicked about too much. Mid I dicked about as well, to be fair, but like, there were a couple of fights we just played terribly. Small things, small things. But this Fiora definitely won the game, I think. Fiora was an absolute monster, and I just could not deal with that. I just could, I didn't have any peel, I didn't have anything. I, there's nothing I could do against her. It was really rough. Really, really rough. I mean, uh, any other, I think like every AD is screwed against her in that way. You used to be able to QSS her all, which would have helped a little bit, but like, I don't know. You just can't kite her because she just lunges like permanently, so yeah. Really rough. We found a series as well, which sucked, but yeah, I hope you guys, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let's have a look at the damage done. Um, yeah, so we did a lot, but Fiora, look at that, it was ridiculous, so. Yeah, I hope uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you in tomorrow's episode.